Hi, so today we'll be going over the Hyperforce Bounce. Pretty cool, there's some variations that go into it. I will say this is like at the very beginning when we learned going from basic lift cascade to force bouncing, except for instead of lifting, this time we're going to make those into throws going above the ball instead of underneath. So it's going to be all active throws, however, one will go over and then they'll all switch going over instead of going underneath the pad. Over. Connecting them, it should be fairly easy to just go over and do all three, but there's a couple different variations that can happen here. You can half shower it, you can also tennis it. So what we'll do is how we did at the beginning and just throw one side and then the other one over it. So this one's always gonna go under, this one's always going to go over. And you have this effect. Now, what I will say is what's going to be the hardest part about this is that right there. Catching this and throwing that in that order. Make sure you really break it down and throw first and then come back and catch. Now after you half shower it, make sure you do the other side and half shower that side, so that means I'll go down and then over. Down, over. After I half shower, what I will do is I will pick one ball and I will always throw that one over and throw the other ones underneath it. Meaning... Alright, so once you have that, all you have to do is just add the throws going over. So that means I'll start with my basic force pattern, and then I will go over, 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 and just keep them going over. The cool thing about this is you can speed it up, or slow it down, or slow it down, whatever you want to do. Alright, so that is your Hyper Force Cascade, and I hope you have fun with it. Really play with it and practice the speed because it can really speed up a lot and you can have a lot of fun with it. Alright, thanks. Hope you enjoyed, and we will have another Cascade coming fairly shortly.